What's up, old school audio fans? This is Big D, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today, we're going to talk about the Rockford Fosgate The Punch 40 amplifier. We can get a focus. This amplifier preceded the Punch 45. As you can see, it had slider controls for the low frequency and high frequency, low, medium, or high. Thus, why it's called the slider series. So, let's give you a little overview of this amplifier. The Punch 40, The Punch by Rockford Fosgate, 40 watts continuous RMS, is a rare amplifier from the mid 80s approximately 1984 1985 somewhere around there maybe a little bit before there are very few of these known to still be around um, i actually purchased this one from uh, tom tom jr's collection and if any of you have seen his collection online know that he has got a huge collection of amplifiers so what did we get in this purchase well not only did we get one punch 40 we got two punch 40s but not only did we get two punch 40s we got what is this oh d well that's just a shroud that's just the shroud that's not the amplifier but yes we have taken it apart so you can see the inside. This is the guts of the Punch 40 slider series. As you can see, there is a lot going on there, folks. See the capacitor right in the center. See the output transformer there. And a lot of other things inside, which I'm not going to describe now. You can see the wiring harness comes out. The white is the plus 12 volt and the black is the ground. And along with that, we got one harness, which has the wires pretty long. So what I've done is so I've run the harness into one of these barrier strips so I do not have to worry about stripping the wires any shorter. Fortunately, I only got one of these and uh, I'll just have to share it between the amplifiers because I really don't want to cut these Molex plugs unless I really have to. So, now we've shown you the amplifier and we'll show you the ratings here. 20 watts RMS continuous power per channel into 4 ohms with less than 0 0.05 distortion. Let's fire up one of these babies and see what it sounds like. Alright, here we go. Okay, old school fans, we have power. As you can see, the LED, L-I-G-H-T, is on. We have the low frequency set to low, the high frequency set to low, no slider adjustments done. We are running this through the barrier strip to save the wires. Pardon the mess, please. Into the UB, one, two, three, five, zero. 35 amp per hour, 12 volt battery, sealed lead acid. This works uh, instead of having to use the big power supply. It's just much easier to use this one. So let's fire it up and see how it works. All right, hold on, here we go. All right, just one more thing before the demo. I forgot to mention I'm gonna use the uh, Rockford DJ speakers, the RF DJ ones for the test, and actually gonna use just one instead of two.
Okay, now we have the amplifier set to bridge mono. We're still running at full range into the RFDJ1. So let's see how the bass control works for this. fans there you go the demo of the original punch 40 by rockford fosgate the slider series this is one this is two and the third one has been opened up for your viewing pleasure there we have it once again all three amps work great they did need to be cleaned out a little bit but they're great good to go Perfect old school examples of Made in America power by Rockford Falls Gate. Thanks for watching. Big D will be back soon. Stick around. Subscribe. Visit OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm out of here.